Are you a multi-talented business owner struggling to grow your business to the next level? If your answer is yes, then you're not alone. Many business owners just like you grapple with the same challenges every day. But what if I told you that there are some critical mistakes that you might be making which could potentially be the reason for your struggle? Multi-talented business owners often have several talents and skills to offer for different challenges the potential customer may have. Many owners are often plagued with being a jack of all, and may even consider themselves to be an expert at many, but the audience and the customer is only looking for one specific expert with the solution to their one particular challenge. This video could have been labeled the cutting power of a focused laser versus the cutting power of a floodlight. Well, in this video we will be delving into the 7 of 19 critical mistakes that multi-talented business owners often make. We won't stop at just highlighting these mistakes, we will also discuss practical ways to avoid them. This knowledge could be the game changer you've been waiting for. It could be the difference between a thriving business and a sinking one. So, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned to find out what these mistakes are and how you can avoid them. Mistake number one. Creating a solution to a problem that your audience doesn't value. You see, the crux of successful entrepreneurship lies in understanding your audience's needs. And yet, Many multi-talented business owners let their zeal and passion overtake this fundamental principle. They dive headfirst into creating a solution, a product, or a service, assuming it's what their audience needs. But what if it isn't? What if it doesn't address a pressing pain point for your audience? You'll find yourself with a solution looking for a problem, rather than the other way around. This is a classic case of putting the cart before the horse. Your solution should be a direct response to a problem your audience faces, a problem they are willing to pay to solve. So before you pour your time, your energy and your resources into your next big idea, ask yourself, does this answer a problem my audience is willing to pay for? Mistake number two, charging by the hour as a business owner. You've likely been there trading time for money, thinking it's the only way to ensure fair compensation for your efforts. But here's the issue. When you charge by the hour, you limit your income potential. You only have so many hours in a day, right? Instead, consider this. What if you could earn based on the value you provide, rather than the time you spend? What if your income reflected the size of the challenge you're solving for your client, rather than simply ticking off hours on a timesheet? By shifting your mindset from a business owner to an entrepreneur, you start to see opportunities rather than limitations you begin to understand the true worth of your skills and expertise. So, stop selling your time, sell solutions, deliver value, get paid a percentage of annualized value. Think like an entrepreneur, get paid a percentage of the value you provide and the challenge you're solving. Mistake number three, building a business without first having 10 organic customers. Imagine setting sail on a voyage without a compass or a map. You're likely to get lost, right? That's what it's like launching a business without a solid customer base. It's like shooting an arrow in the dark, hoping it'll hit the target. You see, your first customers outside of your immediate circle of friends and family are your compass, your roadmap to success. They are the ones who validate your business idea. They're the ones who say, yes, I need what you're offering and yes, I'm willing to pay for it. Only take advice from your business advisor and and the audience that is ready to become paying customers. It's better to sell product and service and then buy the product and deliver the service. So before you take the plunge, make sure you have at least 10 organic customers. People who genuinely want and value your solution to their challenge. Remember their feedback, their patronage, their word of mouth recommendations become the stepping stones to your success. These early customers will be the foundation of your success. Mistake number four, using complex industry language when communicating with your audience. This is a common pitfall for many multi-talented business owners. You're an expert in your field, and it's easy to forget that your audience might not be. But when you use jargon or technical terms, it can create a barrier between you and your audience. They might not understand what you're talking about, and worse, they could feel alienated or confused. Clear, simple communication is key. It's not about dumbing down your content, but rather making it accessible and relatable. Think about it this way. Can a third or fifth grader understand your message? If the answer is no, then it's time to simplify. Break down complex ideas into manageable pieces. Use analogies and metaphors that are easy to grasp. Remember, your goal is to connect with your audience, not to show off your expertise. Speak at a 3RD grade or 5 the grade level, 
to ensure your message resonates. This is where AI steps in to assist. Mistake number five, assuming your audience knows you. This blunder is all too common and can be a major roadblock in the path to success. In the vast digital world, visibility is key. You can't expect your audience to know you from the get-go. You need to make yourself findable. How do you do that? By establishing a strong online presence, optimizing your website for search engines, and being active on social media platforms where your potential customers hang out. But being findable is just part of the equation. Building trust is the next crucial step. And that starts with clear and concise communication. Speak directly to your audience's needs and problems. Show them you understand and you have the solution. This not only fosters trust but it also paves the way for a lasting relationship with your audience. Make yourself findable and communicate with your audience as if they don't know you yet. Mistake number six, advertising to everyone as if they are your customers. This is a pitfall that can lead to a lot of wasted effort and resources. Why? Because not everyone is your customer. It's crucial to identify who your customer persona is. This is a representation of your ideal customer based on market research and real data about your existing customers. When you know who your customer persona is, you can tailor your marketing and advertising efforts to speak directly to them. This means using their language, addressing their specific needs, and connecting with them on a deeper level. Take the time to really understand your customers. What are their challenges? What are their goals? What motivates them? The more you know about them, the more effectively you can communicate and connect with them. Remember, it's not about reaching the most people, it's about reaching the right people. Identify your customer persona and speak directly to them. Use their language and connect on a deeper level. Mistake number seven, marketing on various platforms but changing your communication style. Now, it's not a bad thing to use multiple marketing platforms, the more the merrier, right? But here's where it gets tricky. Each platform has its own unique culture, its own language, its own way of doing things. And it's tempting to adapt your communication style to fit each one. But that's where you'd be making a big mistake. You see, while it's important to respect the norms and culture of each platform, it's equally important to maintain a consistent voice, a consistent message throughout. Your audience should be able to recognize you, no matter what platform they're on. So, instead of trying to be a chameleon, be yourself. Be authentic. Be consistent. That's how you build trust, and that's how you build a loyal following. Find the platform where your audience is most active, and use that consistently to reach and engage with them. Don't let these mistakes bring your multi-talented business down. We've explored seven critical errors that can trip up even the most diverse and capable business owners. First, remember to always create solutions that your audience values. Don't spend precious time and resources on a problem that your audience isn't willing to invest in. Second. Forget about charging by the hour. Think like an entrepreneur and get paid a percentage of the value you provide. Third, don't build a business without having at least 10 organic customers. These early supporters become the foundation for your success. Fourth, keep your language simple and clear. Communicate at a level that everyone can understand and connect with. Fifth, don't assume your audience knows you. Make yourself discoverable and communicate as if you are meeting for the first time. Build trust through clear and concise messaging. Sixth, be careful with your advertising. Speak directly to your customer persona, using their language to connect on a deeper level. And seventh, be consistent with your communication across different platforms. Identify where your audience is most active and stick with that platform for your messaging. Remember, your success starts with knowing your audience, communicating effectively, and staying focused. Now that you're aware of these common pitfalls, it's time to take action. Head over to getakeys.com and join our challenge. There, you'll learn more about avoiding these critical errors and you'll gain the tools you need to keep your business on a steady upward trajectory. Don't let these potential missteps deter you. Use them as stepping stones on your path to success. Equip yourself with the knowledge to avoid these mistakes and watch your multi-talented business thrive. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more valuable tips and insights.